Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and my guest today is Rick Miller with the Franklin County Commissioners. Thank you so hey, much you for doing? joining us. Now you recently solved a relatively large embezzlement case. That is correct. Uh, here in, in uh, what well, was just a little over a year ago, our Matt Beaton, our auditor, mm -hmm. had discovered that there was some embezzling going on. And it was from a gentleman who had worked in the courthouse for 20 years. Since 1989 he was hired. Mm -hmm. and, um, and actually he was convicted of, of, of the same type of fraud with, with Bureau of Land Management in Montana. Oh. He spent a couple years in jail and got out. And he came here and obviously he befriended some people in the courthouse. And back then, keep in mind, Franklin County was small, a very small courthouse, and um, there were part-time commissioners. Um, it wasn't as um, as busy as it is, is, is now. Yes, today. it was a smaller community. Yes, and so this gentleman um, uh, did uh, uh, continue. He worked in public works and continued to take some money and put it into a false account he had. Mm -hmm. And it was Kreitzer Trucking Company is what it was known as, but he called it Kreitzer, and he would send his money that he had stolen from the county there. Uh, since then, we have done quite a bit to improve that. For instance, we had purchased a $1.2 million software program called SunGuard Optimum One. This SunGuard, this program will, will tie in all the departments and in, in all the county officials and everybody with every action that is taken, every penny that is spent in the county and where the revenues come and go. And this would be good for the auditors because they will be able to keep accounting on this uh, software with this uh, with the departments. And um, we feel that you know at any day we can take a picture exactly where we're at. Right, and see where you are because this is a very common problem from a very small business all the way up to large operations in the federal government with all different num uh, dollar denominations in between lots of problems, especially in the economy, and so lots of people yes. need to be looking at the proactive things that they can yes. do to prevent embezzlement. Well, one of the problems we did have is the software program we had was 30 years old. Uh -huh. And nobody, because of the small county at that time, now we have doubled since 1990, but 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 in the last 20 years, we have mm -hmm. doubled. And, and, and you know, the, the, to find that kind of money was hard to come by. But as you can see, it would have definitely paid off if we would have had that program before. And what other process do you have in place now? We, we have inventory checks now. We have a, the, the auditor has now made some arrangements to have the bookkeepers from Public Works into his office. Okay. Not because there is a, just, just so there's communication mm -hmm. and there's contact right there between everyone. And then there is a new, uh, he has a new auditor um, that is hired, that has that done very well. And uh, with this program, with, with, with actually finding these type of things like sending out W-9 forms, which oh. is how she ended up catching this person anyway. Oh, interesting. Yes. All right. And then I'm sure you have a reporting and self-reporting process. Yes, we do. Um, I think the change has been just from the new people coming in, the new prosecutor, the new, the new auditor. The new auditor has really built this program up. The commissioners, you know, we, we have always checked with the vouchers. We've always checked the vouchers, but unless you're actually there, you do not know what is being spent on what and what is going on. So the manager of that department is the one who should be disclosing all that. Okay. Yeah. All right, Rick, thank you so much. Okay. We sure appreciate thank it you. and good luck with all your new systems. Okay, well thank you. Sure appreciate it. Rick Miller, he's with the Franklin County Commissioner's Office. I'm Dana Cowley and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest. Thank you.